Now to the latest on Harvey Weinstein. The New York Times reporting allegations by numerous women who say the Hollywood mogul sexually harassed them. His alleged victims over nearly three decades include stars like Ashley Judd and Rose McGowan. Now Weinstein is threatening to sue the New York Times for defamation. And Lisa Bloom, who is defending Harvey Weinstein, is standing by. First, though, we have ABC's Lindsay Davis here with more on the story. Good morning to you, Lindsay. Good morning, Amy. That lawsuit is reportedly for $50 million. The New York Times quote, Weinstein is saying, I came of age in the 60s and 70s when all the rules about behavior in workplaces were different. That was the culture then. And now one of the most powerful men in Hollywood says he is taking a leave of absence to, quote, conquer his demons. He's the movie mogul behind some of Hollywood's biggest blockbusters. Because I am so much crazier than you. Keep your voice down. An industry legend for so many A-list stars. Harvey Weinstein, who believed in us and made this movie. My friends at Miramax for making this film, especially Harvey. He's politically well-connected, too, hosting a fundraiser for Hillary Clinton and hiring Malia Obama as an intern earlier this year. But now the New York Times is reporting bombshell allegations against Harvey Weinstein, describing several accusations of sexual harassment against the studio executive worth $200 million, and citing two anonymous company officials saying Weinstein reached at least eight settlements with accusers. The alleged victims, as reported by the Times, are all in varying positions, from an assistant to a model to a movie star, Ashley Judd. Somebody help me. Judd tells The Times that in 1997, while filming Kiss the Girls, the then head of Miramax Studios invited her to a breakfast meeting at the luxurious Peninsula Hotel in Beverly Hills. Judd tells the paper that Weinstein requested she come to his room, where he appeared in a bathrobe and asked if he could give her a massage or if she could watch him shower. She told The Times she recalled feeling panicky, trapped. Women have been talking about Harvey amongst ourselves for a long time, said Judd, and it's simply beyond time to have the conversation publicly. But now Weinstein is speaking out to the New York Post, saying he bears responsibility for his past behavior, but claims the Times article is reckless reporting. Judd, seen here at an Academy Awards party with Weinstein after the alleged incident, went on to act in two more movies produced by his studio, 2002's Frida and 2009's Crossing Over. I am required to present it to you. The Times also reports that a legal document the paper reviewed showed actress Rose McGowan reached a $100,000 settlement with Weinstein in 1997. Oh, you want to play psycho killer? As a result of an alleged episode in a hotel room at the Sundance Film Festival, although the document indicated the settlement was not at admission by Weinstein. McGowan, who declined to comment to the Times, tweeted after the article posted Thursday, women fight on, and to the men out there, stand up. We need you as allies. Hashtag be brave. This 65-year-old father of five, seen in this Daily Mail photo departing his New York City office as news broke, told the Post that he wants to earn the forgiveness of Judd and that his family stands by him. He's been married to fashion designer Georgina Chapman since 2007. The Weinstein Company head told ABC News in a statement that I appreciate the way I've behaved with colleagues in the past has caused a lot of pain and I sincerely apologize for it, though I'm trying to do better. I know I have a long way to go, adding that he is taking a leave of absence from work and is working with therapists. Weinstein is now hitting back at the Times, claiming the explosive report is, quote, saturated with false and defamatory statements and vowing to file that lawsuit. He's now hired Hulk Hogan's lawyer, who won him a $140 million settlement against Gawker. The New York Times tells ABC News they are confident in the accuracy of their reporting. George. Okay, Lindsay, thank you. We're joined now by attorney Lisa Bloom, who is advising Harvey Weinstein. Welcome back. Thank you. To GMA. I have to say I'm surprised you're here this morning. You've been here in the past. You've represented women who've taken on Bill Cosby and Bill O'Reilly, Donald Trump, sexual harassment cases. Mm -hmm. Why did you switch sides in this case? Well, I've known Harvey for about a, a year, and these rumors have swirled around him for a long time. And I said to him, you know, what's going on? Uh, this is not okay. And Harvey and I had a lot of frank conversations about this. And when this New York Times story was about to break, and Harvey expressed to me the same remorse that you see now, I said, we have to throw out the old playbook, okay? You're not going to be attacking women. You're not going to be disrespecting women. You're not going to be digging up dirt on them and embarrassing them. You know, that's the tired old way to go. But if you are genuinely remorseful, say so, admit what you've done wrong, apologize, and, and let's have your actions, you know, well, speak for let's, yourself. Let's get to that. Did he sexually harass women? 
Uh, I think Harvey has acknowledged, yes, that there was misconduct over a period of years. Uh, he has certainly a very bad temper, and that's a big part of the problem. He's well known for that. He's, got, he's a big, loud guy. People are intimidated by him. I'm not. You know, I'm a big mouth lawyer myself. I'll stand up to him. But if I'm a 23 year old in his workplace, of course, they're intimidated. It's not just bad behavior. The question is, is it sexual harassment? And the reason, you know, raises the question is his lawyer says the New York Times story is saturated with false and defamatory statements. Ash Ashley Judd says she went for a business meeting, said he proposed a massage. Ashley yeah. asked if she would watch him shower. Is she lying? No, no, I have great respect for Ashley Judd, and so does Harvey. And, you know, while they have a little different perspective on what happened, story. what happened 20 years ago, okay, this is not about attacking any of the women. I'm glad they come forward. I encourage them to come forward. Harvey has authorized me to say that. I mean, this is a very different day. What do you do if you have behaved badly for 30 years? Are you going to continue, or are you going to start, you know, a different approach? That's what he's doing. And he did reach a settlement with Rose McGowan? I can't talk about whether there are any settlements. I can tell you that generally when there are settlements, confidentiality is always a term, so people can't talk about it, unfortunately. Well, but here, here's the problem. The New York Times says that in interviews, eight women described varying behavior by Mr. Weinstein appearing naked or fully, nearly or fully naked in front of them, requiring them to be present while he bathed or repeatedly asking for a massage or initiating one himself. This is a real pattern yeah. over 30 years. Yeah. This is like textbook sexual harassment. It's gross. Yeah. It's illegal. Uh, yes. You know, I, I agree. <laughs> See, you have to understand that, you know, yes, I'm here as his advisor. I'm not defending him in any sexual harassment cases. There aren't any sexual harassment cases. I'm working with a guy who has behaved badly over the years, who is genuinely remorseful, who says, you know, I have caused a lot of pain. But then why is he suing the Times? Well, he has a different lawyer handling that because a lot of the allegations, there are witnesses who say those things actually did not happen and the Times did not take that into account. They didn't report what some of the witnesses said. For example, some people said, I think he was having an affair with this other woman. When that other woman was contacted, she said, absolutely not. Yeah, but and you they just acknowledged the, the, the stories where people come forward publicly. Ashley Judd's story, you don't think she's lying? I'm not accusing Ashley Judd of lying at all. I'm glad she's come forward and spoken out her truth. You don't think I the think other women, important. Emily Nestor, another employee, came forward? I'm not accusing anyone of lying. We are not going to do that. What Harvey Weinstein has done is wrong. He has caused pain. He said that. I have said in my statement, listen, you know, I've done a lot of cases on behalf of women. I've often thought, gee, I wish I could get on the other side and smack that guy around a little bit verbally. Here was an opportunity of a guy saying, Lisa, what should I do? I have behaved badly. I'm like, good. So I'm going to tell you what to do. Be honest. Be real. Okay. He's admitted to you he sexually harassed women. Well, you're using the term sexual harassment, which is a legal term. So I'm using the term workplace misconduct. I don't know if there's a real significant difference to most people, but sexual yeah, harassment is severe about. and pervasive. And so, you know, Telling somebody they look nice in a dress, for example, is not sexual harassment. And that is one no, of the allegations someone, against him. If you have sex with me, you're going to do better in your career. That's sexual that harassment. That is absolutely sexual harassment. And that's what's and that alleged in the article. that is one of the allegations. That is true. You know, yes, that is true. Well, you're being very forthright here. I know, and I I'm telling understand. you that Harvey has authorized me to be very forthright a, because he is ashamed of his behavior. Oh, and, and I appreciate that. I take your word for it. On the other hand, and he's got another lawyer who's suing the New York Times, yes, saying the New York Times is basically some, lying. Because some of the allegations you he, see the he contends are, there, I don't think it's inconsistent. This was a very long article with a lot of allegations where they refused to take into account witnesses who said some of this stuff is untrue. But that doesn't really matter to me. What matters to me and what I say to Harvey behind the scenes is, you've got a long history here. You've got a pattern. You say you're very sorry. You say you're embarrassed. You say you want to respect women and do better. That starts right now. You say you're tutoring him. What does that mean exactly? It it means I explained to him things like the way you talk to your guy friends, you know, when you're going out for a beer is not appropriate in the workplace. You can't have a lot of cursing. You can't tell sexual stories. You can't hit on women in the workplace. Not only is it illegal, it's wrong because it causes pain to women and it needs to stop right Does now. Does a 65 year old man know that? Of course he should. But you believe he's going to change now? I hope so. It's an effort.
I think he has changed in the year that I've known him and been talking to him, you know, in this very hard hitting way behind the scenes. There haven't been any allegations then. Uh, you know, it's hard for human beings to change. His biggest problem is anger, which he says he's been in therapy and working on for 10 years, and he still has a long way to go on that. He, he gets very angry. He's a big guy with a loud voice. And I think that's a that's a big part of the problem. We should also just say as a matter of disclosure, he's also producing a docuseries based on one of your books. Yes, that's really how I came to know him about a year ago. My book Suspicion Nation was optioned uh, for a film. And I said to him, look, you know, there's a lot of rumors about you. Let's can we talk about it? And I was very surprised that he said, yeah, I've been stupid. I'm embarrassed, Lisa. Tell me what I should do now. Lisa Bloom, thanks for coming in today. <laughs> Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.